Okay, I want to spend a minute. I want to spend a minute discussing a little basic electronic theory. We're going to start with P equals I E. Okay, this is power measured in watts. This is current measured in amps. Okay, so Watts was a guy that um, invented the first working steam engine and he developed a term called Watts to um, for people to understand the power that his machine used. Okay, and current was um, calculation was, was done by a guy named Ampere and he was French and he used the I. The I is um, a French word meaning something something I'm not sure can't remember French E is electro motive force measured in volts Volted, voltage Voltaire is that his name um, that's another story altogether okay so you have your power, your amperage, and your voltage in this formula here. Now, when we're talking about, let's say, electric bikes, I want to know, okay, so I want to buy a 1,000 watt motor, and it uses a 48 volt controller, and I need to know what battery that I'm going to run with it. Well, we've got this formula here, and what you need to know is basic formula manipulation, which is algebra. You've got P equals IE. And what, what do we know? We know our voltage and we know our wattage. So we need both of them on the same side. So we can divide both sides by E. And this one, they tell you it cancels out. That's not what it is. Any number over itself is equal to 1. <clears throat> So your any mul number multiplied by a 1 is itself, so technically it cancels out. So we end up with a formula, which is our power divided by our voltage is equal to how much current we need to run this. Well, I already know 1,000 divided by 48 is equivalent to about 20 amps. So I need a battery that produces 20 amps. Well, the question then is, how long do I want my battery to run? Um, I like my bicycles to be able to run at least one hour and batteries are rated in amp hours. It tells you how long that battery can run that current for one hour. Alright, so I can buy a battery that's a 48 volt battery, 20 amp hour battery, and I can expect a one hour run time out of it. Okay, so that's power, and that's how you come across with these manipulations. Uh, the number one formula you're going to be using is Ohm's Law, which is the voltage, we'll go with V, equals um, IR, uh, whereas resistance measured in ohms and the symbol for ohms is that little guy there. And this is amps, and this is volts. The reason you need to know this is because you've got your little LED light bulb here. And an LED typically runs at about 0.7 volts. Okay, well, guess what? Your little device here that you're going to hook it up to puts out, depends on what we're running. We're, we're going to probably be working with 3.3 volts or 5 volts. And so what happens? Well, this thing wants to run 7 volts. So it's going to suck, not 7 volts, 0.7 volts. So it's going to suck enough current out of there to run its little self, and you're going to burn something up. Either, the, either your microprocessor is going to smoke or the LED is going to smoke, one or the other. So what you want to do 
is put a limit, a current limiting resistor in there. Okay? And typically to run an LED, we run a 220 ohm resistor. That's the symbol for the resistor. And um, that works out really good. You can do the math. Again, you've got voltage equals the current and resistance. We know the resistance. And we're going to calculate for our current. Now then, how do you know how much current your little device here is going to be able to put out? There's a, there's a sheet. It's called a spec sheet. Specification. If I could spell. A specification sheet. Or a spec sheet. And it tells you all this information. And you've got to be careful whenever you're building devices. Conversely, let's talk about a question that I just had. And all this goes back to that fact. You've got a device. And it, let's say it plugs into your USB. And what we'll be working with will we'll run powered from a USB. But, but you build something, you know, a little thermometer, uh, little lights, a uh, little switch that turns off and on, a lamp, and you want to battery power it. You want to run it off of a battery. Okay, this is this is a symbol for ground, which actually it'll it'll be on your board, uh, and this is your battery. Okay, so you need to know. Like, uh, for example, I'm not sure offhand, um, a good one to talk about is the uh, Raspberry Pi. They recommend a 2 amp, 5 volt system. Okay? 2 amps and 5 volts. And what do we want to know? We want to know what our wattage is. How many watts we need. Because most likely um, you'll be looking at wattage on something like solar cells. Solar cells tend to be me measured in watts because you can arrange them up to whatever voltage. Just like batteries. You've got a little battery. I don't have a little battery. I have a little battery. You've got a little battery as ugly as it may seem. You got a little battery and it is 1.2 volts 2000 milliamp hours. Well that's another point that, of discussion. That, that's, that's 2 amps. So this thing's able to put out at 1.2 volts 2 amps for 1 hour. So, but it's only 1.2 so how many of them do I need to add up. Well, you put them in series and that's what this little device does. It puts them in series. I've got four of them here and four of them times 1.2 is 5 volts. So I've got a little 5 volt power supply right there. Okay, so that's the way you calculate that out. Five, uh, no, it's four. 1.2 volt batteries is 5 volts. Okay, Let's talk about another problem. Let's talk about, um, say I want to run it off of solar. Okay, so I have to look at solar cells and see what the wattage output of the solar cells are and uh, the voltage of each solar cell. And then what do I do? I have to put them together just like the batteries. Put a bunch of them together to get the voltage I need and I can determine from their wattage how many amps that they will produce. Well anything you're going to run off of solar power, you're going to, you're going to need to run it, unless you're going to run it on a beautiful day and that's the only time you're going to run it, you need to have batteries and you build your solar cells, your solar collectors around charging up your batteries. So you get a little uh, battery charger and you connect it to the uh, solar cells 
And I was just thinking about the battery charger that I have, and I don't have it at hand, but it is the size. Oh, there it is right there. This is, this is a voltage regulator. This is three voltage regulators. Little tiny little suckers, aren't they? I think, I can't remember. I believe these are the 3.3 volt ones because the, um, the um, ESP8266-01 requires 3.3 uh, volts, not a 5 volt input. And so I use a voltage regulator back at this nifty little... Okay, that's another story. So that, anyway, that is a basic electronic engineering um, discussion there is for what it's worth.